ask the patient to fixate upon the green fixation light. Apart from this active autocentration done by the patient, you can, as a surgeon, also slightly adjust the centration of the eye using the joystick to move the patient supporting system. The Visimax joystick is extremely accurate and allows for very small adjustments in the position of the eye. When the contact glass comes into contact with the cornea, you will see the tear meniscus appear. A symmetrical form of the tear meniscus is an indication for good centering. As the docking of the eye progresses and a larger portion of the cornea comes into contact with the contact glass, the diameter of the tear meniscus will enlarge. The moment the meniscus is near the edge of the contact glass, it is time to switch on the vacuum suction, allowing the eye to be sucked onto the contact glass. When the eye has been suctioned and the vacuum is sufficient, the laser system will tell you it is ready. You will hear the word ready and on the blue LED scale on the vacuum display, at least four segments will light up. Suction on. Ready. Instruct your patient not to talk or move and press the foot switch to start the laser treatment. Keep the foot switch depressed until the treatment has been completed. The whole laser treatment runs automatically, but it will be interrupted once the foot switch is released. It is a good idea to lift your heel from the floor to prevent an accidental release of the foot pedal. The way the laser pattern is created depends on the settings of the laser. Normally, the inferior cut is done from the outside in, followed by the superior cut, which is done inside out. The last part of the sequence is the creation of the tunnel. At the end of the laser treatment, the suction will be ended automatically and you will see the eye moving away from the contact glass. After the laser cut, the patient supporting system is brought to the Visimax surgical microscope, again using the joystick. Safe. Before the surgery you need to tell your patient that the green fixation light is going to disappear halfway through the laser cut because once the first cut reaches the center of the treatment the fixation light will be obscured by the gas bubbles. And patients need to know beforehand that it's normal to suddenly stop seeing the green light. Otherwise they might start looking around to find the green light. Also, during the surgery, when the laser cut is about to obscure the fixation light, I always tell my patients that the light is going to disappear. A second thing that I have noticed is this. Most patients feel like the fixation light doesn't stay in the exact same spot. They have the feeling that during the procedure the light is slightly moving and it's a very good idea to tell them beforehand that this is normal.